Sock Passe, what's going on, y'all? We're here back at the Black Man's Brunch with the legend himself. Introduce yourself to the people, my brother. I don't know about a legend. <laughs> but I am a radio personality of 107.5 WBLS. I'm the host of The Quiet Storm. Yes, sir. Bro, let me let me tell you something. <laughs> and can I say Maboule? Yes, yes okay, absolutely. Sock Passe, Maboule, no doubt. From your voice alone? Yes, sir. There's a lot of babies out there. You know? <laughs> I want you to understand something. Bro. When I go to work, I don't see people. Mm. When you go to work, do you see people? No. You, when you go, if you, when you were working, because right. I know you guys. We were, see people. Yeah, we saw yeah, people. Yeah, we saw you people. Don't, right. I don't see people. So I can't be held accountable <laughs> for any baby That's that right. may have come uh, forth. That's right. Because I don't right. see nobody. Wow. But bro. I'm happy that people have embraced the, um, the product of the choir storm. I think. Love is a very integral and most important factor, just like sex is. You know, yes, it's not. that's not the only factor that we pay attention to, but it's quintessential in a relationship. Because trust me when I tell you, if the sex leaves a relationship, yeah, the relationship has a tendency to falter. I'm sorry, we got it on hold. No, no, no. It's all good. I'm sorry. Give the people a quick um, history of how you first got into radio. By accident. Um, from nine years old until college. I went to Kingsborough Community College in Brooklyn. I was singing. They didn't think about radio. Oh, wow. wow. I was listening to WBLS 98.7 Kiss here in New York because I'm a Brooklyn cat. And um, all that was just, I guess, filter music. It wasn't until I got to college and someone was constantly encouraging me to go by the radio station, go by the radio station. And I went by the college radio station and instantaneously, it was like God turned off a switch and put on a different switch, and God knew I probably didn't have a chance as a successful radio, as a successful singer mm -hmm. like Michael Jackson. I, I wanted to be Michael, but right. but I, I thank God, man, for the opportunity for allowing me to use my voice. Mm -hmm. Still be, I'm passionate about music, so I'm in the lane of music, and I talk to those who do what I love. So when I got hooked onto that radio station in college, of course my grades started to mess up because mm -hmm. I got so embedded with the radio station. And as they say, the rest is history. They gave me a, a smooth jazz. They asked me what I wanted to, to play. Yeah. My older brother was involved with radio for a short period of time, but he always played jazz around the house. So I said, I like to do smooth jazz. And they gave me a seven hour smooth jazz show on the college radio station every Sunday. And it's so ironic. And again, full circle, me meeting you guys and full circle with what I'm about to tell you. I started at seven o'clock. Seven is a very great number, it's a number of completion. Ever since I've started in New York City radio, my show started at seven o'clock. Yes. Wow. So I'm, I'm grateful to God because I know God really uh, is my father and, and he really has, if it wasn't for him, yeah. if it wasn't for him, nothing that I have accomplished and nothing that I strive to do would be possible. Wow. Uh, it's a be beautiful story, man. I, like I said, I grew up listening to you at seven o'clock and made sure the quiet storm was on. Right, right, you know, I first right. got my license with my first girlfriend wow. and all of that, listening to your voice. I hope and I helped. <laughs> I hope I helped. That's what I did. I hope I helped, man. But you know, it, I play love songs and I'm, I'm a, I like to, I like the whole thing. I know they, a lot of ladies, you may not think that men are into romance and I'm into the whole thing, but I don't get a chance to do it. Right. Or enjoy it as much because I work a lot. Right. So I'm glad uh, the benefits or the fruits are beneficial to someone. Like absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yes, sir. What are some of the challenges, like, you know, now with radio and mm. technology? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, this AI thing is, is really yeah. something to pay attention to. Absolutely. Uh, because they can they can reduplicate a voice just like they can reduplicate an image. Uh, but you know what? They said terrestrial radio, which is the kind of radio I do, unlike satellite radio. They say terrestrial radio was going to go away for a long time uh, because once satellite came in, they were doing less commercials and very little personalities. So I think terrestrial radio still has a chance to survive. I think the powers that be who run it is a different story to see how well it will exist and how much they want to try to save money because radio is a big business, gotcha. just like any other media outlet. And if they can save money and not pay, they'll do that. Mm. So, yeah. and you. technology has advanced tremendously. Yeah. So I can record my show early and be here with you guys now. Mm. That's true too. So if if the powers that be again, uh, wants to maneuver 
it's a great entertainment venue. It's quintessential to the listeners. Yeah. But it could be it could be taken away from us if we don't pay attention to it. But what I would love, and I hope moving forward, we have more black ownership. Gotcha. Sure. Black ownership is is, uh, is is quintessential, and just like so many other industries, just like in our communities, we don't take the advantage and own. It will get away from us. You know, I, as great as it was for Bob Johnson to go ahead and and be comfortable, what he gave up when he gave up BET was the power. Right. For someone to give you over a billion dollars, obviously they understand how much money they can make from that. Because a billion dollars. One hundred percent. So. We, we have to control our narrative. We have to control uh, what, you know, what, what, how the images of what comes across. And the only way we can control it is that if there's people in there like us. Gotcha. So I hope that we move forward in that. Absolutely. Right. Tell us the importance of today's event, the Black Men's Brunch. Quintessential, Central, man. You know, I'm a Brooklyn boy, as I mentioned, born and raised. And bro growing up here, born in Crown Heights, raised in, in Bushwick and raised in East New York. And to a single parent. Mm. Thank God for my mother and thank God for my grandparents because if it wasn't for them, I, me, my older brother, and my adopted brother, we wouldn't have turned out to be the greatest men that we are. But my mom never had any problems. I'm so happy because I think the youth today needs that more than ever. They need to see their images. They need to see positive black men doing great things. Yep. And they need to be aligned. Yeah. Uh, and that's why things are spiraling out of control. But I'm so happy for 500 black men. I'm so happy for this black men's brunch. This is my first time ever coming to it. I will not be my last time, and I would like to probably get more involved with it because our, our black boys, our black young men need these images. Mm. I hold every man accountable mm -hmm. who has a child and who doesn't take out the time to be and spend quality time with that child. I, I'm fortunately, I don't have any children yet, but there's no way a child could be on this earth and I'm not involved with this kid's life even if the relationship between the mother and I is not happening. Right. Children are the most innocent factors in the world. They never ask to come. A child never asks. It either comes out of love, hopefully, or lust. Right. Mm. But it's a responsibility that two people must be involved in. So if you have to be careful of who you decide to lay down with, and whoever you're laying down with, if they're not going to measure up to it, that doesn't eliminate you as a man. You have got to do your part and be there for that child because that child didn't ask to come. I don't care what you're going through. So um, no man should ever step to Lenny Green and, and, and have a conversation of why you can't. Mm. Mm. No, nah, you can't. It's powerful. So picture, you, you got to, before you leave, you got you to gotta do this for us. Okay. Picture you at work. You ain't working with nobody. Uh -huh. You don't see nobody. I don't see nobody. Okay. Give us a little of Lenny Green. <laughs> The oh, intro, the intro, the intro, the intro. Just give us a little bit. <laughs> 107.5 WBLS. Welcome inside of the Quiet Storm. A purse, a place where you can just relax, push everything to the side after a long day, and just allow me to navigate your path. And ladies, I can't put you to sleep tonight, but I am going to put you to bed. So sit back, relax, find something that you like to slip into, and let's enjoy another one of your favorite slow jams. As a matter of fact, I've got one right here for you. Is Isaac Hayes with I Stand Accused on 107.5 WBLS. Woo! <laughs> oh, cool. Is that right? I do okay? Brother. <laughs> the legendary Lady Green. Brother. Wow. Powerful, bro. Thank you. Wow. Thank Powerful. you so much. Thank you so much for this. This was really a fun nah, this is, this event. Is. And I wish you, gentlemen, much success with Thank this you. podcast. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's necessary, it's needed. And uh, I'm 100% in and support. Stop by say. Stop by say. You heard it here first. Yes, we, out. we out. All right. Thank you.